Hi everybody, it's Mary Ellen from Create With Me and we're here creating in the nest and it's time for Teach Me Tuesday. So as you may or may not know, I've been doing a series um, on using the Stamparatus and today is gonna be the final um, episode on using your Stamparatus. Um, we've got six, the sixth episode is gonna be uploading about 2.15 today. Um, to this Create With Me group and to YouTube, so you can view it there. And um, that's at Create With Me on YouTube. And then um, this will be the seventh and final one on using your Stamparatus. So hopefully, if you have a Stamparatus or you've purchased your Stamparatus um, since we started this uh, series, like six weeks ago, um, you've learned a lot on using your Stamparatus. So um, today we're gonna finish with using doing embossing in any color. So the Stamparatus is great for that. So let me um, take you down to my um, desk and um, see I've got my uh, frame in red because today is all about Valentine's and heart. So, and love and, and all those things that we're getting ready for. So um, I'm gonna show you the catalog and we're gonna use um, a couple stamp sets. One is called Hearts and Kisses and we're gonna use these lovely lips right here. And then on the following page, We've got Valentine Keepstakes stamp set. We're gonna be using the hearts here. And then the sweet little Valentine's cards and more. I, cards and more, I wanted to show you those. So we're gonna be using all those products today um, with our Stamparatus. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, let's do a little bit of review. So remember the Stamparatus comes with um, this black mat, comes with the two um, plates, and then your basic Stamparatus and two magnets. I've covered those with washi tape and that just makes it a little easier um, since they're earth magnets, just they're really strong, a little bit easier to manipulate my magnets and um, keep those separated. So then you can purchase this deluxe mat. So let me move my magnets. This deluxe mat, I like it because it's um, wipeable. So that's what I usually always use. And then you can purchase the small grid paper um, to use to keep your, um, if you don't have the uh, wipeable one or you're doing a lot of stamping that's going to be stamping off, then like if you're using a big background stamp uh, such as the Buffalo Check, then you definitely want the paper because then you're doing less wiping. So, hi Kelly. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with the little um, lips from the Hearts and Kisses, I think is what it was called. And also, um, just a review, when you're using your Stamparatus, you want to have this case underneath or something that's of equal, um, I don't know if the ink pad, the ink pad works too. So just something to keep that level um, when you're inking. So I've cut just a couple of, um, I had just some scrap paper that actually dug it out of the um, garbage can. So I'm going to go ahead and use my magnets right here to hold that down. And I'm going to put my lips um, right here, just to show you the fundamental. So, um, hi everybody, thanks for joining me. So put those on your um, piece of paper and then pick it up with your um, plate right here. And I'm gonna stamp those in real red today. And I'm gonna go ahead and give them a stamp. Okay, so that's nice and light. If I wanted it darker, um, I could keep stamping, but I actually like it light like that. I'm going to show you what it looks like darker here in just a minute. So the other thing that you can do that is really fun is you could take your Winca Stella. I know that Kelly's going to love that. You can take your Winca Stella and give these lips a little bit of glitter and shine. Okay, we're going to make these um, embossed. So normally, you know, we don't have embossing powder in red. And we definitely don't have a glitter embossing powder anymore. So I've taken a little bit of the Winca Stella and I've taken my red ink and I've um, made these um, all glittery. So now I'm going to take my, um, again, review. I've cut up a chamois. I like to use this for my Stamparatus. I cut it up and I'm going to clean off those lips right here. Okay, I'm going to put this red ink away because we're done with it. And I tend to put my hands in it if I don't. Then I'm gonna take my Versamark and I'm going to ink up those lips. And because we're on the Stamparatus stamp positioning tool, it's going to go right in place, right? It's gonna go right on there. And we're gonna get the Versamark and then we're gonna take our embossing powder. I've got clear here. I'm gonna pop that out. 
I like to put my embossing powder in little, um, oh, little, I'll say, re disposable tubs. I just find it's easier for me to um, use it like that. And then I'm going to set this a little bit out of the way. I'll, I'll put that so you can see it. I'm going to use my embossing tool, okay, and I'm going to set it all the way on it too. And then I'm going to go ahead and emboss this. It's going to take just a little bit to get that heat up on this. You'll be able to see it. I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. See it's starting to melt? So pretty. So this, I don't know if you can see, but I'm going to hold it up. See, you can see the little um, Winkasella in there. It's really, really, really pretty. So we're going to go ahead and punch that out with the um, bundle, the punch that's in that bundle. Okay. And then I want to show you, I've got this, I'm going to just set it aside. Then I want to show you the, um, oh, let's see, where did I put the full pack of, oh, here they are. So these are the um, Sweet Little Valentine's Cards and More. They come in a pack like this. They're super, super adorable. Let me show you what comes in there. I've got one open, so I'm trying to grab all the pieces. So you're going to get all kinds of cards. They're double-sided, so you've got some love and some hearts. Um, all just a, a good variety of you are loved. So you can go ahead and put those on the cards. You get two different designs of cards, and then you get the envelopes that have the little gold glitter. So that's what we're going to use today. And so I've pulled those out here and I'm going to use this um, card here and I'm going to use it just like that. So I'm going to just use my magnets. Okay. And I'm going to make sure this is good and clean. And I'm actually going to take this stamp off because of course I've put it on where willy nilly and I'm going to pick it up. This is the easiest way to always get it where you want it. And I'm going to stamp this because this color scheme is a little more Calypso Coral. I'm going to um, ink it up with Calypso Coral. Stamp it. Okay, so you can see here that, um, maybe you can see it, but the hearts didn't stamp perfectly. So I, that's the nice thing about using the stamp positioning tool. So I can go back, re-ink it. I can focus my pressure down here where the um, hearts didn't pick up, and then I can get a nice dark image just like that. Go ahead and clean off your stamp. And we're gonna emboss these also. I like to close those because if I don't, I tend to uh, put my hand right into them. Okay, so I'm inking up with Versamark. It's a watermark stamp. It's a great one because it stays wet and it's great for embossing. So now I'm going to stamp that on there. I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to again dip it into my powder, tap it off, and then bring in my tools. Turn it all the way up to high. And I'm going to emboss. Kelly asks about tips on getting the new stamp heads open. I'll give you a tip on that. Let me finish this. I'd be happy to. Because it's really easy when you know one little tip. Okay. So I stamped in Calypso Coral. So this is a little dark because I did emboss it. But you can definitely see that it's the shade of that kind of uh, corally color and then I'm going to take my card and I'm going to move my stamparatus out of the way and remember you never want to put your two plates down on top of each other. Always pull the second one off and lay it down so that you don't um, break the hinges. So let's go ahead and stamp in Memento Ink. I'm going to stamp Be Mine. I'm going to stamp it right here. I'm going to use some dimensionals on the back. So, so, so to see, this is two-sided. You could use You Are Loved. So you have lots of options. That's really nice. I like to use my bone folder all the time to get a good crease. 
put my card down here. Then I told you I would show you the difference. So here, um, let me see if I can put those so you can see them. So here's the one I just did with the Wink of Stella. I'm going to bring my light in, see if that helps. Okay, so I'm going to try to get in here. So here's the one I did with the Wink of Stella. I just inked it once. It's kind of got a corally look. It's lighter. This one I did in real red also, same ink pad, no Wink of Stella, but I um, inked it three times. So I, I inked it, I stamped it, I inked it again, stamped it, and inked it again, stamped it. So I got a nice dark red. So either one of those are beautiful, but I'm going to use this um, one that we just did with the Wink of Stella. And I'm going to use a couple more dimensionals. And we're going to add our lips right here on the card. Okay, and so now we've got a little Valentine. Of course, we want to bring in our envelope. Um, we can go ahead and stamp a little lips on the envelope or a little be mine. And here's our cute little envelope. So here is um, stamping, using the Stamparatus, getting any color you want with the... Um, uh, with the Stamparatus, you, get, you know, using the inks and then the Versamark over the top. So I hope that's helpful for you today. So Kelly asked about opening up the new pads. So um, I have actually had a couple questions about that lately. So um, these are actually easier than the um, the old pads because the old pads, I was actually using uh, Whisper White one and you have to push it and flip it and turn it. This, if you just think of putting on your makeup and opening up your compact, it's that simple. So just open it up as a compact and then slide it in. Now, if you're talking about having a new ink pad and it's really hard to slide in, you could take a little bit of time and just do this. The other thing you can do is take a um, maybe a white crayon or a, um, a candle, a birthday candle, and you can just wax the inside here and that'll just give it, make it easier. But over time, um, just opening it a few times, makes it um, super easy. When you close it, you always want to make sure, like you don't want to leave it like this. You always want to make sure you hear that snap. Okay, and then these are nice and closed tightly. So I'm going to put you back um, to my uh, desk here and I'm going to put up the information for my website and the Stamparatus. There's the code. Um, you can visit createwithme.stampinup.net um, that's my um, current host code that I have open. If there's anything that you're wanting to get during celebration, remember that um, by purchasing the Stamparatus, you can pick out um, one item out of the celebration catalog right now. It's only good through the end of February. And um, let's see, do you have any other questions about the Stamparatus? Because this is the last time we're going to be kind of talking about it, at least for a while. There's a lot more you could do with it. Um, but remember, episode six, and that's going to be, let me see, I have that card here. It's going to be um, this card here, and it's going to be on doing this background, this rainbow. So go ahead and watch that um, after you get done here, and you can, um, uh, you can uh, see that card um, being made. So Kelly said, um, I thought somebody said to put your fingers on the dot. So um, putting your fingers... Um, what, let me take you back. I know what you're saying. Okay. So what she's asking is if you put your fingers on the dots, not on the dots, but if you put your fingers right here on the back and squeeze. Okay. So this one's kind of a, uh, <laughs> let me get the red. Let's see if I got one. If you put your fingers back here now, I'm not going to be able to do it now, right? That's not here. If you put your fingers back here, well, Kelly, Yes, there is a way to do that, but this, these are super tight. You can pop them up. No, of course I can't do it. Let me, <laughs> I, I used to do it all the time, but honestly, I've gotten out of the habit. So now I'm trying to think. I know you can pop your, um, pop them back here, but all of a sudden these are super, super tight on me. So I apologize for that, but yes, you can. You can, you can squeeze them if it's, mine's, mine are really snapped shut tight. You can squeeze them there. I had it a little bit better. So anyway, I apologize. You are right. If you can, if you pop them in the back, I'm, now I've got a bunch of more. So here's one that's working a little bit better. If you just get the back, put your thumbs here and pop it up, 
you avoid getting your actual, like if you pull it up and you push your thumb in it by popping it back here. Those were really tight. This one's a little tight too. Back here, then it's popped up and you can do that. So there, I feel better. We got it to work, okay? But if you do think just compact and keep your finger out of it, keep it up here, compact, just like a mirror, that usually works the best. So thank you for asking that question. So um, everybody, I hope that you have a great day. Go watch episode six of Using Your Stamparatus and um, I will see you next week. Thank you. Bye.